hey hello welcome guys so in previous video we have learned about how to read an entire file in OIC so now in this video we will use read file in segment operation of a stage file activity why we need to use read file in segment operation as we already know that whenever we have large data available in OIC or anywhere and we need to read the last data we need to use read file in segment as read entire file allow us to read maximum file size up to 10 MB only so whenever we have file which have the size up to 10 MB we need to more than 10 MB we need to use read file in segment so let's begin with the integration I will show you how we can use read file in segment operation so here in, in you can see in previous video I have created this integration where I have download the file from SFTP server and and I have used read file read entire file operation to read the file so as right now what you can see this is our data file and this data file had the last data and we want to read this file in our integration so we need to use read file in segment operation so here I have created this data file and thus file name is x invoice 002 we will upload this file over server and we will use this download this file into oracle integration so i have already uploaded this file in in sftp server with this name 002 so i have to do changes in our integration so here you can see while you downloading the file so let me first edit this integration this integration is open in the view mode only so first deactivate and then i will do the changes so that I can read this file earlier I have added the changes added the code to read only the file which name is x invoice 001 so here you can see in the basic operation after that I provided the name so you can see this is the directory where I have to read the download the file in OIC so this is the SFTP directory OIC dev you can see here this is as I OIC dev and this is the file name I want to download so I want to download the second file that is 002 so I will provide the name here as 002 and this is a directory from where I have to download so this is the source directory and this is the destination directory in OIC Oracle integration so this is the temp and from here I will read the file with the help of a stage operation right so now you can see done and done so with the help of this endpoint we will download the file in OIC and now after downloading we need to read the file so here I will delete this operation as this is read entire file I will add this stage file activity and here I will use read file in segment stage read file in segment this is the operation this is the activity name stage so we it's not mandatory to use the same name I use this one so that it will be easy for, to identify the nodes so here this is the instead of read entire file what I will select I will select read file in segment so whenever we use read in file in segment again we need to provide the file name and the directory so as in previous video i have used that file name and the file directory to read this time i will not use this one i will use yes this one so configure file reference yes i will read the file based on file reference so as we know that whenever we use download operation of the ftp it provide the file reference so i will edit and here I have to provide the file reference so here you can see this is the download file FTP this is the request part and this is the here this is the request and this is the response of that download file FTP so here you can see download file to OS ICS response once you will expand this one download response inside this ICS file we have file reference so here you can see inside this RCS file once you will expand you will see the file reference we can directly map this file reference else if you will see in the property we have also file name and the file directory you can see this is the file name and this is the file directory we can map these two also right so we just want to map this time file reference you can use both right it's not mandatory so in previous video I have used the file name so I use file reference this time now here also it's same you can use that remove trailer to remove the first line or last line and all so I don't want to remove any lines and here you can see the process sequentially option if you will not use this process sequentially the default data what it will select uh, it will read is that the parallelly so here I just don't want to do anything it will I will it will be same so just go to next and here we have to provide the file structure so what is the file structure so we know that the whatever file available over server it's the csv file so i will provide the same simple file over 
here only. So here you can see this is the CSP file and document is also mentioned that the opaque schema not supported. It means that whatever file we want to read, we need to provide the structure of that file. Opaque schema will not work here. So here you can see it's already the side of it. So just go to next and here we need to provide the file structure. So as we know that this is the file, so I just provided here a structure. So when you will work on the project, so from where you will get that kind of a schema. So what you can do is that you can communicate with the server team that or the whatever team they place the file over server and will you will ask the simple file. So in that simple file, you can get the structure, what kind of column or how many columns they are going to pass. So you can see, so in simple file, when I uploaded, you can see all the columns available in the file listed here. Everything is fine, right? So here I need to provide the record names R and RS. It's mandatory to provide. It will make the node of the result, right? The record. So if suppose we have 10 records, so it will make this 10 R record set, right? And here you can see, so use first row as a column header. So yeah, obvious our data in our data file, first row consider as a header file. That's why I need to tick here, make a tick off so that it can skip the first line while reading. And here you can see mark all as optional so we we can select or we can we cannot be select right so if we will not select all column will be mandatory and there is required mandatory to have each and every column of the value that column cannot have any null value so i don't know that uh, is they will they provide the value in the data file or not they maybe there can be issue somewhere they forget to uh, put the invoice data or any values so what I will use is that I will make all this option and it's mandatory to have a single column as a, any of the column as a mandatory. So I will make this invoice ID as mandatory, right? So just go next and done. So here in this point, this read entire file, what we have done is that we have read the file. We have read the file in segment. And here if you, if we want to, uh, here we, we got the data. If you will see the, this consider as a loop, right? And inside you can see, so suppose it will read data in the chunk of 200, if you will see. So why we say in the chunk of 200, it means the chunk or we can consider batch of 200 records. So here you can see, this is the segment size. Segment size, we can say chunk or we can say batch. So whatever data available in the file, data available in the file, suppose in the file we have 500 records. So it will download, it will read the data in the 200 chunk of 200. It means that the first row, first iteration, it will read 200 record. In next iteration, it will read 200 record. And the last iteration as we have only 100 record remains. So it will read the last 100 record in this last iteration. So here, if you will see, we can add the log messages and after adding the log message, we can print the value, whatever value we receive, or we want to insert that, insert the data, whatever data we receive, if we want to insert into ATP table or somewhere else, we can do the same. So, so now you can see we have, uh, we have added the read file in segment to read the file. So what it will do, if you will suppose here we have records, right? This is the data file. In data file, if you will see how many records we have. So the last record we have is, so suppose here, yeah, we have, we have 750 records. So what it will do, it will read the file data of this file into, into batch of 200 records. So first time when it will iterate, it will read first 200 records. In first time it will iterate and it will read first 200 records in the first batch. And again, batch it will read the next 200 records and all and so and so on. So let's see how we can do. So here we have added the endpoint to read uh, read the file in segment. Now what we need to do, we need to. So here you can see for each and I, every address and we have 200 record and we need to see the data, right? So see in log message and all. So let me add the log message so that we can verify. So first, what we will do, we will add for each loop so that we can iterate each and every every record that comes in the batch so so let's me add the for each loop so here in for we have added the for each loop we need to provide the name so i will use read file e segment for each i have added the name i have to provide the variable name for this for each so i will use loop var here and here we need to provide the repeating element so what repeating element will be is that the read in file segment read in segment file uh, response so here you can see we have read file in segments so here if you will see when we expand this is the record set inside the record set we have record and this is the sample of array array it means that multiple elements so here what we need to we need to provide here 
right done our mapping is completed just create click so here you can see what we have done is that we have first added the added the activity read file in segment it will read the file in the segment of 200 records and then we added the for each loop this for each loop will run for each and every time whenever it will read 200 records this loop will run for the 200 records it means this loop will run 200 times and each and every time this loop will contain the data contain this 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 file records the invoice id and all so what we need to do is suppose i want to print the invoice id only so here i have to add the log message so that we can print so let me add the log message here yeah in log message i want to so suppose invoice log i have added and now here i will select always and edit message so i want to print something like that so i want to print suppose something like invoice id iphone and here will be the invoice id so we cannot directly provide this invoice id here we need to provide the this is two values this is the hard coded value and the invoice id coming from the loop variable that will be the second that's why we need concrete operation so i will use c o n c a t concrete operation so this is the first value comma and that will be the second value so from where we will get we will get the value from the loop variable so here you can see we have added the loop var so now here in that r we have invoice id so here i have added so it will display value like invoice id and this will be the value of the data invoice id right so just now validate and close validate and close so i have added the log so it will read file data into 200 of batch and then we added the loop so that that loop will iterate 200 time for each and every batch and then we added the log message to print that invoice id for that particular record so just now done save again our integration is completed now let me run this integration so that you can see each and every step so just wait a while it's taking a little bit time because of the network issue just now done close so what we need to do is that we need to activate this integration and once this integration will be activated we will run so here while running the, as this is schedule integration we need to run this integration as a submit node that can be that is considered as a ad hoc basis running so we are running this schedule integration as an ad hoc basis so just submit this is the instance id just click here and you can see this is the instance id generated and here we will see the log message so we can see log message only when the integration is completed and the log message will take some time to show the payload values why because it's taking some time to load right so once the integration will be completed integration will be completed we can see the log message here okay so succeed and you can see the log message here so it's taking little bit time to reload so we'll check so now let me refresh again so here as i have refreshed so in log message we can easily identify all these steps and all the data whatever data we receive so here you can see we with the help of download ftp adapter we downloaded the file here it did the file name is that xx invoice 002.csp and now you can see this is the iteration this is the iteration of read file in segment state so this iteration will repeat based on the chunk based on the batch they record so here you can see the this is the payload so payload received from the read file in segment so once you will open this payload you can identify all these things so you can identify this is the drop value stain and this you can see remove trailer zero and here you can identify the chunk record of 200 something yeah you can see file batch size 200 as it is fixed right so this is the data now we have we have added the loop right so you can see this is the begin reading segment one if you i will copy and search we can find that segment as control f you can see we have four segment right four times the first segment and the second segment in first segment if you will see the iteration read file in segment for each we added the for each loop right in that for each loop you can see the iteration of the for each loop repeat 200 times for each and every batch so you can see this is the iteration one this is the iteration two for this each and every iteration we added the log we added the log inside this loop for each loop so you can see the log message invoice id 1001 invoice id 1002 invoice id 1003 as in the file you can see we have the invoice id in sequence so here you can see the first iteration it will show the invoice id as 200 so you can see this one 200 right so this is a 200 record so here if you will see if i will search the begin segment 
this is the begin reading segment 2 this is the segment 2 it means that this is the second batch so here you can see before a starting of the second batch how many records they read you can see this is the iteration 200 iteration of the loop and this is the record invoice id is 1020 you can see the 200 records is this one invoice id 1020 you can see and the data you can see so read file in segment for each payload you can see the data so you can see the complete invoice details invoice id invoice number and the amount date and all everything so here you can see this is the second segment second batch and if i will search here this is the second batch third batch and the before third batch you can see the each and every loop iteration have 200 records because it read the data based on the 200 of batch and here you can see that in this the second 200 records what's the invoice id 10399 and if you will see this next your yeah, last one 10400 and the next if you will see so here you can see this is the fourth iteration and the before fourth iteration how many records they received you they received that invoice id as 10600 it means that 600 records yet and this is the last iteration as they don't have the more than value 200 in the last iteration so as you can see in the last iteration how many records have the in that for each loop so you can see let me go here you can see 10749 this is the 149th iteration in the last batch they receive only 149 records as they don't have list of the record you can see the 49 so this is the features of read file in segment with the help of that we can read a file we can process the large file in oracle integration with the help of read file in segment so friends if you have any query and want to ask anything related to that app do you have anything that you want to make a more explanation you can comment below and you can ask anything whenever you want i will provide you the whatsapp group link description in, in the description you can join the whatsapp group and you can do discussion over there only so thank you so much for watching if you like this video helpful don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching